Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taylor. Welcome back for another video. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. I've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of messages asking for tips and tricks or just anything I can share to help out with people getting into this hobby, which I think is amazing. I love helping out people that are getting into rock hunting. This is such a great hobby. So I thought it would be fun and be helpful to make a how to find agates video. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video, sharing some tips and tricks to help out with agate hunting. And because it's not just about me, this YouTube channel is a community, I need you guys' help. If you could, during the video, while I'm sharing tips and tricks, if you think of anything, other tips, some advice, share it in the comment section below. Because you never know, if somebody comes along looking for some advice, they find your comment, you could help them out. And it's really fun helping people out, especially with this amazing hobby. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is sharing some tips here first, and then we're gonna head out to a gravel road where I'll share some more tips and some more advice. And then after all that, we'll come back and look at everything we found. So let's get going with the first tip. So my first tip that I'm gonna share with you guys is to educate yourself. Now this is something you don't need to do right away. You don't need to do it before you go out. There's no rush to it, but it is really fun to educate yourself in something that you love to do. And as for me, I'm very passionate about this hobby of rock hunting and agate hunting. So I like to read books about it, and you can also get online and look at so many resources on there, it's, it's insane. But I personally like books, and there's a lot of great stuff in these books. You really dive into the whole realm of agates with this one. This is a good one for the local area, Lake Superior, Rocks and Minerals. It's a good little field guide, lots of good stuff. And I want you guys to know both of these books and a couple others are up on my Amazon storefront. That link is gonna be in the description box below. So, do your research, because it's fun. My next tip, I'm gonna hop on the computer and it's gonna be about finding places to go. So there's a couple different ways that you can find potential spots for agate hunting. One of them is on Google Maps online. The other way is one of the ways that I primarily do it, but I still do it online. But for me, I'm driving around and if I see a spot that has good potential, I'll pin it on my Google Maps on my phone. And then I can come back later and check it out. But I have also done it online, like I'm about to show you. And this is in North Dakota, so there's no agates in this spot. And I know this is a gravel road. So, we'll zoom in and just start looking at spots. Oh, look. It's a gravel road. Oh, what's this up here? Up on this gravel road. It's a creek. Wow. Couple potential spots if there were agates there. So. Those are a couple ways that you can find potential spots for agate hunting. And the last tip that I'll give you guys is to make sure you bring your gear with. And since we're going to a gravel road, all I'm using is a bag to put my goodies in and a spray bottle to spray them down while I'm out there. It helps with identifying. That's it. So let's get right into it. Let's go find some agates. All right, so I left my bag right there because there's another one over there, but this one is glowing like crazy. One of the things I wouldn't do is while you're walking, walk and looking here because your shadow's gonna block the sunlight. Use that sunlight to your advantage and then you can see these bad boys glowing. So this one I don't even need to spray because you already know, it's an egg and nodule. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go check over here to the other one. Right there. The other thing too is on these gravel roads, we're not looking for size. Because chances are you're not going to find any that are really that big. But it's just fun getting out to find a lot of them in one location. So let's keep going here. Alrighty, so I've spotted a few. And as you can see, they kind of stand out from the crowd. One there and one there. Put them right here. See the translucency. This one almost looks just kind of like half like a double nodule it's kind of neat and then this guy it's got some cool bands in there try to get that to focus <laughs> pretty neat oh i spotted another one here right behind us hiding in the shade i do try to look in these weed and stuff too because the last time i was on this gravel road i did find a decent sized one so keep your eyes peeled all right, we got ourselves another one. Give you guys a second to see if you can find it. It is right there. Looks 
mainly like kale staining. It's got some limonite staining on it. Check this bad boy out. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's got some, I'd say white banding, but probably sun bleached banding. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Got some bands on here too. That's really unique. Awesome. Got ourselves a pretty decent chunk here. You guys can see it right there. Hiding underneath there. Looks like this one has some nice bands on it. Check that out. That is really pretty. Whew. Let me try to get in some better light. That's pretty. Sweet. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so I got a couple others here while I was walking. I got a little too excited and picked this one up before uh, I could show you just because the bands on it are so neat. Really, really pretty. But I also found this little guy. Quartz. Carnelian. I don't know if you can see it. So this is like right up here. Oh wow, that is really pretty. Jeez, that is so cool. It's awesome. Nope, oh, there's another one. Little, little shard. Just nothing crazy. Yeah, you can see how they just glow. Pretty cool. Oh, dropped it. Another tip I'd like to give you guys, if you're on the gravel road, and if you're walking this fast, looking for stuff, you're walking way too fast. Because your eyes aren't gonna be able to track those pieces. So, when I go, I'm usually only walking about this fast. Looks like there's just a little nodule right there. So, yeah, we'll, uh, We'll keep going here, see what else we can find, and uh, hopefully we have some more luck. So on a couple more, right here, right there. See that? And that? Oh, it's got some bands. Let's go. I found another one over here. Grab my squirt bottle. This one's got some nice water level banding. It'll focus. Nice. Oh, found another one here. We got oh, another one. <laughs> They're everywhere over here, just little guys. So, right there, if you spotted it. A lot of limonite. I'm gonna get off the road here, I got a school bus coming. <laughs> Alright. So this is what we just found. Kind of cool. Limonite staining on there. So, yeah, let's keep going. Looks like we got another one here. It's right there. I actually uh, spotted it from over here because I'm not walking in the middle of the road at this point. It's got some light banding in there, but it's glowing. That's why I spotted it. And I also spotted that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by bugs. Oh, my gosh. That's cool. It's a little beat up. It's got some nice spanning, though. Oh, there's another one over here. Nice quartz. Little banding. Sweet. It looks like we have found... Uh, one here, and then one out of frame up there. Let me get this wet show you. Oh, that's just a big old nodule with some quartz in the middle. That is sweet. I'll show you this one over here. A little smaller. But it looks like it's got some nice bands. So, we're having some good luck on this gravel road. It's awesome. Alright, so I found one here that isn't as common. It's not really glowing. But it looks like a, just a little dusty. The texture is what 
had me kind of look at it. That's kind of neat. Spray this thing here. Oh, wow. Look at the bands on that. How sweet is that? It's got quartz in there. Sweet. Ourselves one right there. Fingers are still wet from the last find. Cute. So because this is more of a how to find agates video, I'm not gonna show you every single one we find. I'm gonna hit the road a little bit more and we'll show you what we find in just 10 minutes of walking this gravel road. It's been just about 10 minutes and this is everything I found in that 10 minutes. I haven't gotten that far. We found a lot of really cool stuff in 10 minutes on a gravel road. This is a lot of good stuff and I stopped. I did move it, but I haven't sprayed it yet. I had to show you because the bands on it look amazing. Let me put these in my bag really quick. So right here you can see the little bit that you can see the bands that's all that was showing I grabbed it and the rest of it came out so let's spray it and see what it looks like <laughs> oh my gosh that is really beautiful look at the bands oh wow <laughs> oh that is crazy the bands are just super tight right here Wow there's yellows and greens. That's insane. I apologize if the light is bad. The sun is just beaming in my face. I can't really see if it looks good on the screen or not. So, uh, but yeah, whites, looks like blues, yellows. Oh, it's pretty. Sweet. Just about at the point where I'm gonna turn around and then we'll head back to the car, see what we can find along the way. So one of the hardest things when I'm out on these gravel roads to do is to turn around because I keep finding, you know, stuff. So it's hard to turn around. I know I can come back. So I just spotted one right there. It's like a nodule. Looks like a wood tick. <laughs> it's definitely the hardest to just turn around and head back because you never know like what could be 20 feet up. So like I was going to turn around at that telephone pole. Now I'm up here, and I'm still going, just thinking five more feet, five more feet. What if there's one more big one, or a really beautiful one? Or... So only like five more feet here, and I'll turn around. Okay. Ah, see? Like, I mean, this isn't crazy, but like, I'm happy I found this. So... Just turn around. I'll just turn around. Okay. It looks like we found another decent little chunk right here. If I spray it, it's right there. Give you a better idea of what they look like. It's got a nice little husk on it. Pretty. Some light banding. Or maybe that's a fracture. Not too sure if that's a fracture or not. But yeah, still really pretty. Little frog skin. Awesome. All right, found a few other little ditties. This one has some nice white bands on there. That's cool. But right there, found another one kind of glowing. I'm sure you can see it now. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, ho, ho. that's some really nice bands on there. Sweet. That is really cool. Some quartz. Awesome. Just found a little one. Just picked it up. Didn't think anything of it. But look at the bands on this thing. <laughs> that makes me so happy. That is so cool. That is wild. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweet. Got ourselves a decent little guy right here. Ooh, look at that thing glow. 
It's got some light banding in there. Oh, that side's got really cool banding. Probably hard to tell with the glare, but really beautiful carnelian banded egg. Really sweet. It's like right there, we got ourselves a nodule. Yeah, just a pure nodule. No bands. Cool though. So I've been walking for a little while. Found a little handful here. And just found something pretty interesting. This is the side of the road that I walked on originally on the way down. And I saw this from across the side. I just spotted this. This is what I was looking for. But right here. Oh my gosh, I should show you right there and right there. I was thinking maybe they're maybe they're the same piece. Doesn't seem to look like it now, but these this one just looks like carnelian, but this one is really beautiful, white and red. Beautiful bands. That is really cool. Wow. So as we get closer to the car, I figured we'd just do some picking and let you guys know. Like I said in the beginning, we're not always going to find the biggest stuff. You know, it's not a guarantee anywhere you go, but you are guaranteed to have fun. And I'm having an absolute blast finding these treasures today. And if you guys ever do head out to uh, Gravel Road, I bet you'd have fun too. Because most of the time, you know, if you get a good spot, you know, you can find the indicators of like finding little stuff like this. There's more to be found. And lots of it, as you can see from our all the stuff we found today. Here's my bag. That bottom half is all full. So, and I'm super excited to show you guys that. I'm gonna head back to the car. If I see anything really crazy, I'll show you. Otherwise, we'll just head back to the house, show you everything we found. We are back. I got everything cleaned up and boy oh boy Look at those bands. Those are absolutely amazing and isn't it crazy? We found all those <laughs> On a gravel road. I'm gonna pick out some of these to show you here because they're absolutely wild Check out the bands on this wild thing a whole lot of yellows and oranges. That's pretty cool Another one here and see them up there in the nice quartz. Not too bad. That's kind of neat seeing a glow like that. I really like this one. It's got quartz up top, water level banding right there. And then where is it hiding in right here? Might be hard to tell, but there's some eyes. A little cut off, but pretty crazy to have some eyes and that water level banding. Really neat absolutely love this one. The banding on this was just crazy. Really, really cool. Look at that. There's another one with some really cool bands in it. Alright, and a couple more here to show you before I move on to the slideshow. That one, really amazing. Orange, red, and white. Really cool really really white it's like pure white which is i don't find that too often but that's really cool and then this is probably one of my favorites a little darker hope i can get a good picture of the bands there but really beautiful we'll get some more for the pictures at the end it was really exciting finding all those agates on that gravel road i always love getting out there and finding those banded beauties and I really hope that those tips that I shared at the beginning and during the hunt can help you guys out. 
And like I said at the beginning, if you guys have any advice, please leave it in the comment section below. So hopefully you can help out some people too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support that you guys give. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.